Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. If you're dealing with the Taurus, this is going to be your love reading. So let's hop into it. Let's see what's going on inside of this connection. Let's see how the other person is treating you, how they feel about you, what's exciting, what's not exciting, whatever comes up, you know. So let's talk to the uh, Taurus and the Pisces and let's see what's going on inside this connection. Okay, first card we have showing up is the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, powerful change, positive change. Speaking of fate, y'all might be a divine couple. A great match for each other. Pisces and Taurus get along great. You know, the Taurus, Pisces energy, one's very grounded, one's very imaginative you know Taurus got that type of energy that can bring you back down to earth you know so I see a lot of positive change a lot of positive movement forward here you can't 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 make it up look it's the chariot okay so this seems like a very strong relationship two majors leading okay Pisces and Taurus we have the death card okay powerful change it may not be easy but it's necessary all major so far. One more for Pisces and Taurus. Okay. And then we have the King of Coins. Taurus like, yeah, baby, I'm your lucky charm. I'm your lucky charm. I am your pot of gold. I am the love of your life. Okay. So Pisces, side note, what I do see is this person not being so, so, so affectionate. You know, not so lovey-dovey, not so cuddly, not, you know, they more of a provider. You know, they more of a... a structured type of person they boring i'm sorry taurus but you are boring okay i am sorry it can get boring i'll say that okay that's what i see but definitely a lot of good energy here okay because we sacrifice for the ones we want we compromise okay boring ain't got shit that's just one little flaw okay that don't mean nothing Okay, because Pisces, your ass is born sometimes too. Okay, so look, we got the Wheel of Fortune, great positive change, good energy, right? A prosperity and abundance. Okay, it's, 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 it's full of life in this relationship. The chariot, positive movement forward, determination, the wheel, aiming for that success or whatever you all are thriving for within, within this relationship. The death card. It may not have always been that way. You know what I'm saying? Y'all probably had to build up to where y'all at now. Because nobody really starting off strong. It take years, months, weeks, however long a person been together. You know, started from the bottom. Now we here. Somebody to ride it out with me. Somebody who was there with me when I was at my lowest. And now there with me when I'm at my highest. So a lot of people look at relationships like, oh, they so cute. I want that but they don't know what it took to get there right so I feel like people look at y'all like y'all just got the world like y'all so in love like y'all got it going on but they don't understand all the changes and transformations that had to happen in this relationship in order to get to that point okay king of pinnacle okay this is this is this is security this is loyalty this is a blessing to have. You know what I'm saying? Even though they may not be that affectionate, they show you their love in other ways. Okay. So Pisces and Taurus, this is the energy. What's crossing it? The three of cups. Okay. Y'all have so much fun together. You know, y'all might be hosters. Y'all might host a lot of parties. Uh, y'all house might be the house people come to to celebrate, you know, to have fun, to kick it, drink, whatever. <clears throat> I see y'all being the life of the party, okay? So let's hop into it with the Wheel of Fortune for Pisces and Taurus. What great positive change is coming towards this relationship, okay? And we got the Eight of Swords, okay? And this is really understanding your person, understanding how... Your thoughts about them, you know, um, I don't see no one being trapped here. I do see an opening. So I just feel like the great positive change that's coming is the way you used to think about your person. You don't actually, uh, you understand better now, right? The, the way you process the information, 
that's going on inside of this relationship, you have a better understanding now. And that's why things are changing for the better. Because somebody could have been trapped in their thoughts in the past. Somebody could have been feeling like you, 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 you just like the rest of them or, you know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. But what I'm seeing is, uh, you guys really understanding each other more here. Okay. And not thinking the worst of each other anymore. Okay, so what other positive changes coming to this connection? Okay, the seven of swords. If there was lies, cheating, de deception in the past, a false mask, because because we're Santa Claus for real, right? All this is over with. You don't have to worry about these things no more, Pisces nor Taurus. So if there was some form of infidelity, if there was some form of lies or stealing, whatever, you know, that that is all forgiven. Okay, it is all forgiven. Okay, because no relationship is perfect. We do do things to each other that we may not like, but we forgive and carry on sometimes. And that's this situation. Whatever y'all been through, whatever y'all thought about each other, whatever y'all was doing to each other, y'all figured out a way to overcome that, right? To to move past all that low vibrational stuff to, you know... Be right here in the chariot, still moving forward, still going, right? The reason is the nine of wands. You guys never gave up on each other. You never gave up on yourselves, okay? Yeah, y'all may have been broken, hurt. Look, he got a boot on his leg and on his arm. So y'all have hurt each other before because of the lies, maybe a little bit of infidelity, maybe gossip, the thoughts that go through your head. But I see y'all done overcame that and moving forward because it just seemed like it's, it's better to roll with you than to roll away from you. You know, it don't seem like whatever type of deception happened in the past was enough to break this situation up. Okay, it was enough to break a heart, <laughs> but it wasn't enough to say, you know what, I'm done. Okay, so yeah, you guys are continuing to move forward and balance. And, oh, this the eight of coins. Okay, y'all done became a master. Y'all know each other like the back of y'all hands. Okay, I know what Taurus will and will not do. I know what Pisces most likely will and will not do. Okay, Pisces, you probably feel like your Taurus is very predictable. Come up out of that energy, okay? Come up out of thinking that they are predictable and you know what they're going to do because they do the same thing every day or whatever. Got a certain type of routine, very structured, traditional type of person, not willing to change as much. Once they got their mind made up, it's made up, right? Get that out of your energy. It's true, but for this situation, I do see your Taurus uh, more focused on the relationship, more willing to compromise. You know, like when you a master of something, you didn't master it in one day. You had to fuck up. You had to fail. You had to come back and not make those same mistakes. You know, you had to maybe carve something this way or that way. So I do see uh Taurus or Pisces take it how it resonates remember that but I'm going from Taurus point of view I do see them being compromised I do see them being the master of you I do see them knowing you better than they think than you think they do okay so don't underestimate your Taurus and Taurus don't underestimate your Pisces okay you guys are on a good team right now y'all on a good way okay and I'm happy at the fact that y'all could work through y'all issues okay like adults okay so we got the death card there's been a lot of transformation and it ain't always been easy you know it ain't easy to be a me <laughs> okay so there's been a lot of transformation here a lot of positive change okay queen of cups Look at you, Pisces. You so happy. You showed up for your uh, tours. And it seems like they really add to your joy, you know, with the death card. So you may not have been too truly happy with your Taurus in the past, okay? And it seems like for you, Pisces, the change that's happened in this is the more... The more happier you are with your person, the more love you rain down on them, the more you take care of them, the more you support them, the happier you are, right? So Taurus is obviously doing something right here, okay? 
Because there's a lot of love and care in this relationship, okay? There's a lot of togetherness. We also have the two of coins, okay? There are things that still need to come into balance. You know, nothing's perfect. There are small details that you all need to work out that, that could be harmful. Because I'm seeing someone looking sick. I'm seeing a little needle going in that, whatever that is, in this garbage pail kid deck. So I do see uh, there's still a little bit of toxic energy around this, but I feel like the pros outweigh the cons in this connection. Okay? And I feel that things will come into balance as long as you all stay on this path that y'all are on. I see it working out. I see this being the jackpot. I see this being your forever person, you know, depending on how y'all swing things. So with the King of Pentacles, this is loyalty. This is abundance. This is a commitment. Okay, this, this connection may lead to a marriage. Okay. Very wise. Okay, and this is actually a Taurus energy here with the Hierophant. Okay. I see commitment happening, possibly a marriage, okay? If I hit the jackpot, why wouldn't I, okay? A proposal might be coming, okay? Seven of coins. Yeah, a proposal may be coming here because I don't feel like you guys are putting all this working into each other and investing into each other the way you guys are just to have a mediocre type of relationship. No, we're going to do this all the way. We 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 are committed. We're we're going to get married one day. So Pisces and Taurus, according to the cards, you guys may get married one day. Okay? After, you know, some time. Look, what's crossing it? The sun. Okay, this is your forever person, baby. I felt like it was a divine counterpart. Like this relationship is divine. You guys were meant to be together. Okay, you will have success. You will have some prosperity. You guys are already growing together. All the things you've been through and you guys are still sticking it out. Still working with each other. Still uh, learning, growing and understanding. So, yeah, there's a lot of potential for this relationship to turn into a happily ever after marriage. So, Pisces and Taurus, that is the energy. I hope it resonates. Let's get a message of love for you guys. What do you guys need in love? And we have self-love, okay? Don't forget to love yourself first, okay? Seems like both of you may put your energy into each other, but you also have to put it into yourself, so you realize um, that love of self is necessary to love another. So don't forget about yourself, baby. All right. So Pisces and Taurus, that's your love message. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces and Taurus, okay? We have the sixth chakra, and it's the third eye chakra, okay? And this one is relevant to knowledge. I recognize that a great deal of knowledge and information comes to me in the form of intuition, such as clairvoyance, clairaudience, and hypersensitive feelings. I use my intellect combined with my intuition to devolve into circumstances from a psychological and spiritual viewpoint. I aim to understand the truth behind situations that come my way as this helps me to respond with wisdom. I cultivate positive beliefs about life and myself and others. So knowledge is the positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces and Taurus. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.